the channel if you're new here I'm Ron and today we're going to be looking at reversing some of your remote controller sticks for better backward flying as well as how to get some great new perspectives and interesting shots with your DJI Mavic Air now you've seen youtubers like Sam Calder get some great shots with his Mavic Air but you may have wondered how he pulled those off so I'm going to give you some tips in this video so stay tuned okay and just a quick disclaimer don't do anything that you're not comfortable with. There is a good chance that you could break a prop or two trying this. So I just want to throw that out there. And now back to the video. Worth noting is although Sam Calder shoots a lot of his footage flying the Mavic Air forward, I really think many of these shots look best when you're flying your drone backward. It's just a preference and the footage often seems smoother in the post-production edit. Just an observation that I had, but play around with this and see what you think and let me know in the comments below your thoughts as well. So one of the things you may want to play with is your controller settings. You may find reversing your controller stick settings to be easier when you're flying backwards since the controller will still act like you're flying the drone forward. I personally tried reversing my settings and found it to be a little more confusing, probably because I'm used to flying backward at this point. Uh, but it's an option if you want to change these controller settings, here's how to do that. First, click on the three dots in the upper right hand corner of the DJI Go 4 app. Then tap on the third icon on the left that looks like a remote controller. Click on the stick mode option. The default setting is normally mode two, but we're going to select the custom option at the top of the menu here. Now, normally mode two, your left stick controls your orientation or yaw of your aircraft and pushing the stick left rotates the drone counterclockwise and right rotates clockwise. You can try reversing the setup as I have here. Again, I tried this but didn't like it personally and switched back to the default setting, which is mode two. Now, one of the first tips I have for you is I think location is everything and the more the uh, scenic and the majestic the setting you have, the more likely that the shot will look spectacular if done right. I don't have an exotic location for this tutorial, so this is what we have for now. Okay, second tip, avoid windy days. The calmer, the better so your drone doesn't drift wind and this type of shot is really a recipe for disaster so a little wind can be the difference between actually pulling this shot off or not tip number three line up your shot and see where your drone's going. Make sure that the path behind your drone is clear. Now in this shot, I had a pretty clear line of sight all the way to the gazebo, uh, but behind it was a, a, a whole line of trees. In a perfect situation, if this was more open into a field, then it would have been ideal for this type of, sh type of shot. Now this shot works best when you can fly through something smaller at first, and then it opens up into uh, what's called a reveal shot, an open field, some kind of majestic setting, uh, or an exotic location where it's wide open. Okay, tip number five, have some spare props on hand. If you do hit something, there's a good chance you'll break a prop or two. If you need good props, I did an earlier video for master air screw props and I can recommend those. I'll put a link up here and you can check those out if you're interested. Tip number six, and probably the most important is make sure you have a clear line of sight from the start to the finish where the drone is going. There should be a nice clear opening where you're planning to fly your drone. So if you can't see the opening, you're not gonna be able to pull this shot off. It has to be a nice clear line of sight. Okay, tip number seven, be sure to turn off obstacle avoidance. These are very tight shots and you're not gonna be able to pull these off with obstacle avoidance enabled. Make sure it's turned off. Tip number eight, if you're going to attempt these types of shots, I would recommend setting up your shot somewhere that you can recover the drone should it hit something. Again, this is gonna come down to your comfort level in capturing these types of shots. Tip number nine, uh, speed ramping your footage. In post or slowing it down uh, in portions of your video can also enhance the final project. You'll see how I use speed ramping here as an example. 
And a bonus tip, start out flying low to the ground and change the altitude of your drone as you're moving further away from your starting point. Changing the altitude of the drone doesn't seem to impact the stability of the footage. However, if you move the gimbal too fast or change the direction instead of keeping it in a nice straight line, this is gonna impact the final footage. In short, keep a constant straight line for the best footage possible. Now for me, I wanted to try something new and I had a ton of fun you know, shooting this video and, and trying these shots. I hope you uh, will also want to give these a try. I think some of you will be surprised at what the Mavic Air can actually pull off. It's still my favorite drone in 2019 and I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell for future notifications. And remember, you can also follow me on Instagram if you're an active subscriber. I do thank you and if you're not an active subscriber, I hope you'll think about subscribing. So until next time, happy flying.